morning everybody so this is episode two of can i canoe here and where is here this is the arthur r marshall loxahatchee national wildlife refuge in palm beach county it's a uh it's one of the last remaining remnants of the northern everglades um, allegedly it's been preserved in its natural state and it's never been touched can't verify that but it is a uh, a huge wilderness wildlife preserve in the uh, this Everglades area it's a swamp marshland and it, it caters to canoeing uh, bird watching uh, there's a couple little hiking paths uh, bicycling and um, airboats fishing stuff like that it's got different little segments we can do different things right now I am on the canoe trail, which is a 5.5 mile loop that starts at the boat ramp dock. And when you get to here, this is a little entrance way, you go right or you can go left. I usually go right. So this is my third time here. And uh, I already had my first little uh, alligator standoff. About 100 yards back, actually I can see him right now moving around or her or whatever. Just about maybe... I'd say a nine foot gator just sitting there right in the middle you know not submerging not going down it didn't submerge until about maybe you know seven eight feet off my bow <laughs> finally it went down but i don't think it moved i think it just went straight down to the bottom the bottom here is you know this uh this stringy algae looking stuff so you don't really know how deep it is lots of lily pads anyways it is 8 a.m uh, like i said it's a five and a half mile paddle in this beautiful area. Last time I came here, I saw snail kites, I saw deer, I saw alligators, I saw turtles, lots and lots of birds. And um, come on with me and let's take a paddle.
So I'm at the halfway point on the uh, Loxahatchee Wildlife Refuge Paddling Trail. It's about three miles in. They've got these little platforms for me to hang out on, and uh, hopefully you can hear this because there's some wind coming up. But uh, right behind me in this prairie, there's uh, two deer and it uh, looks like a little fawn. I mean, right now they're just kind of frozen because they hear me talking now, but I'm sitting here watching them and you know, they're just grazing. But it's a beautiful little area. Uh, forgot how tough this paddle was. It's not tough because it's long or anything too crazy, but it's tough because it's, it's a lily pad highway. These lily pads just blanket entire portions of the trail. And uh, it makes uh, it makes it a little slow going sometimes because first you can't get a good paddle stroke in, and then the next thing is you can't get a uh, a good glide after your stroke. So, but it's pretty. You get some white flowers, some pink flowers, some white and pink flowers. You know, a couple of gators here and there, a few birds, not not too much. I got out here a little bit later than I really wanted to be, but such is life. So right now I'm enjoying lunch. And uh, it's a good paddle. Slight clouds came in. There's a little little bit of rain somewhere else, but hopefully it'll stay off and give me a little uh, little shade. You know, don't want it to be too sunny. Anyways, hope you guys are enjoying this. Thanks for watching. Got to the end of the paddle. Now I'm at the uh, the branch where I turned right earlier. I'm coming on the left side now, right where the uh, gatekeeper alligator was that wouldn't get out of my way. So this is the Arthur R. Marshall Loxahatchee National Wildlife Refuge. It is run by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and it's a great paddle. Um, just beware. It is South Florida. If you come down here. It's gonna get hot, so do it as early as possible. Right now it's about, whew, it's 10.55. So uh, it's getting a little hot out right now. I'm sure the, uh, the lighting's not so good. I started paddling just before eight. Um, I really wanted to get, here, get out on the water before seven. It opens up at 5 a.m., so should definitely try to get here as close to 5 a.m. as possible, as close to early morning dawn. You're gonna see more birds. You're gonna have uh, less wind, a little cooler temperatures and stuff like that. So one of the other issues is uh, these lily pads. Well, <laughs> they are beautiful and they're really cool looking, but man, do they slow down your canoe or your kayak or whatever you're paddling. I wouldn't even bring a paddleboard out here. Uh, you, you, I mean, if you, do, if, if you bring your paddleboard out here, which you could do, um, take the fin off. You don't need a fin out here. It will just get wrapped up in all these weeds. But the water's quite good and uh, Everything's real pretty. It's a lovely paddle. So, till next time, y'all have a good day. <laughs>